guess what? I know I've told you guys on this channel before that over the summer before uh, school starts again in the fall, I try to film a lot of videos because the beginning of the school year is always so busy I don't have time to do that. So I just film a bunch of stuff so I have it and I can just edit it and get it up well. Let me tell you, other than a few unboxings here and there, here and there as if I haven't bought much. This is the first, I think, I think I'm right about this, this is the first sit down video that's not an unboxing that I have filmed that is going up soon after it's being filmed in months, like maybe since April or May or so, and it's now the middle of November. That is how many videos I had stashed up. And boy, I tell you, it's a good thing I did because this hybrid teaching thing, very time consuming. I feel like I'm finally in a groove. I can start to get back to normal-ish or not mm, a routine anyway. And I have next week, the entire week off for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna be able to film a few things then, but I can't really do a lot of bulk filming because right after next week, we start Vlogmas. Yes, I am planning to do Vlogmas again this year. This is gonna be kind of a long intro, sorry about that, but I wanna address a couple things that people have been asking me about. I do plan to do Vlogmas. I will be talking to you about how school is going. Several people have asked about that, but I think I'm gonna wait and do that during Vlogmas because since we're in lockdown and numbers, well, we're not really in lockdown technically anymore, but we still are under a pandemic and numbers are going up across this great country of ours. We are still not, going out anywhere pretty much for the most part. So I don't know how many outings I'll have during Vlogmas. So I'm trying to think of things that I can talk to you about or do at home. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. If there are some things that you'd like to know about or see me do or whatever, any ideas would be appreciated. I do have quite a few already, but I would love to hear yours. Uh, someone mentioned my hair, how long my hair is, is getting and they asked if I was growing it out. I am in desperate need of a haircut. I only get a haircut about once a year anyway. I don't like getting my hair cut. I don't enjoy the whole experience of going to a salon and having a stranger touching me and having to talk to them and like make small talk that is totally meaningless. I'm not big on small talk. I prefer to have meaningful conversations with people if I'm going to talk to anyone at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to grow my hair longer. I just am not going to get it cut during the pandemic. So, so that's why it's so long and disheveled looking. Okay, let's get to the actual video now. Here's an idea. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Thanks for listening to that very long intro, I appreciate it. What this video is actually about is a tag, as you could tell from the title. It is called 10 Things That Make Me Happy Now. And I thought that was a great idea for a video, especially right before Thanksgiving and during the tumultuous times in which we are living. This tag was started by Kat L and I was tagged by Styled by Gwenny, my bestie from across the pond. My dogs say hello to your kittens. And speaking of dogs, the number one thing on my list of 10 things that make me happy right now is my dogs. Where's a dog? Come here, dog. Roxy, come here. Baron's not gonna come. Roxy, come on. Roxy, come on. Come on. Don't you wanna be on camera? Well, Baron is totally ignoring me. They're both laying in the dog bed under the desk. Roxy is staring at me, but she's like, I'm not moving. I just had dinner. I'm here to stay. She's also like, who do you think you are? I am my own woman. I will do what I want when I want. So despite them being stubborn, shall we say, they are number one on my list. And it was so nice to have so much time off and be home for so many months and being able to spend that time with them. I feel like, you know, Roxy, she's been with us two years now, but she's probably the most skittish dog I've ever had. She's really not very skittish, but I don't know what her background is and she's always a little wary. Even now, every once in a while, she's a little like, what's going on. But I feel like that time with her, she really settled in a lot more too. So grateful to have had that. Number two on my list, Vincent, after having Roxy for two years, finally, learned to say her name. I'm going to insert a video clip here where you can hear her practicing. I'm saying it and then she's saying it back and I say it and say it back. And she listens to how I say it and she adjusts herself. She started a few months ago saying rocks, but she never got the E on the end. And she finally got it just this past weekend. And I happened to catch it on film, so here it is. 
Come on, Roxy. Come on, Roxy. Come on, Roxy. Come on, Roxy. Baron. Pretty cool, right? Number three on my list of 10 things that make me happy right now. And these probably shouldn't be on the list now, but wafer cookies. If you saw Yota's Halloween special where she pretended to be me and she ate a ton of wafer cookies, uh, that was pretty accurate. I, I'm, I'm embarrassed and saddened and um, embarrassed <laughs> to say. Somehow, over the course of quarantine, a few months ago, we bought wafer cookies for some reason. Not sure why, because we never had really eaten those. I tell you what, I swear I got addicted to them. Fix my hair. I always notice that when I'm editing. I never see it when I'm filming. I'll have some big chunk of my hair sticking out and I'm like yelling myself while editing, fix your hair, but it never works. It's all staticky right now. It's sticking to my face. Anyway, the wafer cookies, it's gotta be certain kinds, but I mean, they're delicious and I was eating, I will not even admit to you how many a day, way, way too much. And like a lot of people, I've gained a significant amount of weight during quarantine. Uh, the wafer cookies had a lot to do with that. I have recently decided because I've reached a point where it just, it has to stop. So I had the, the wafer cookies that I had already bought and I said, that's it. I'm gonna, I'll finish these, I'm not gonna throw them away. I'll finish them. I'll make my problem a little bit worse, but then I'm going cold turkey when these are gone. So that's what's happening. I, I have four cookies left. I know exactly how many I have. I will eat those tonight after dinner and then that's it. No more wafer cookies. I'm not sure how to feel about that at this point. It doesn't really make me happy now, but it did for months. Another thing that makes me happy, this is number four on my list of 10 items, are these teas. This is something that I discovered last year during Vlogmas 2019. This is a tea subscription box from a company called Simple Loose Leaf Teas. And they have a few different boxes, I think four different boxes. There's a black tea, probably white tea, or maybe herbal tea, green tea, and then a box that has all three. And you get it's $10 a month for each box, which you can get one box, you can get all four boxes, but $10 for one box. And you get four of these packages of teas. I think it's two ounces, two grams, net weight, no wait, net weight is 10 grams. It makes a pot of tea. It's a bunch of teas that if you're into teas and you wanna try a bunch of fabulous, great quality teas, this is a great way to go. So I have this rose gray. I had, oh, the box that just arrived that was a seasonal box had, it has the rose gray, then Irish breakfast. It had a pecan praline and some kind of a pumpkin spice. In this pack, I also have blood orange, blue lady gray, which is a lady gray with lavender in it. It's fantastic. I've had that one last year and I recently purchased a whole tin of it. If you like something, you can purchase tins of it from their website too. Formosa oolong, Jen Mackay. No, that's not right. Mica? Not sure how to say that. Matcha. It's not matcha. Ceylon Supreme Wild Berry Hibiscus Cider Chunmi Green Evening Herbal Holiday Black and Hathakuli Black. But you can see the teas on the back. It tells you the brew time and the temperature so you can get all that right, which I really appreciate. I've really been enjoying trying all these different teas. I'm going to throw something else in right now because I'm not drinking tea at the moment. I'm going to tell you I've also been enjoying pineapple rum quite a bit, which makes it sound like I drink it constantly. I don't. I have this, I had one last night, and the last one I had was probably two months ago. So I drink it sparingly, but when I do drink it, I enjoy it. Which reminds me of that commercial with that most the most interesting man in the world. How does that slogan go? It was something like what I just said. I don't blink often, but when I do, I blah, blah, blah. Number five on my list of things that make me happy right now is planning Vlogmas. I love planning for that. I started planning this year for Vlogmas in September. That's how much work it is. That's that's how much goes into this. Um, I've started buying things for, well, I've started buying advent calendars, but then I'm also gonna do that advent calendar that I make myself. So I've started buying things for that. It's gonna be pretty great this year. There's some like little things that are only a couple dollars. And then there are some things that are a few hundred dollars. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be quite 
quite nice. And the dogs have their outfits ready. I'm planning the introduction. I have a vague idea in my head. I need to work that out more and get it filmed next week over Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll give you a little teaser, like put a photo in my community thing. You know, the community tab on YouTube and it pops up on your homepage only if you're subscribed. So if you want a preview of my Vlogmas intro this year, which of course will star the dogs. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see that. And number six that makes me happy is Christmas shopping, especially with all the sales. I mean, I don't know if it's because of the pandemic or if people just, or if it's probably the pandemic, or stores just want you to start buying everything early this year, but there have been so many Black Friday deals that are already available and have been available. Like Macy's has some incredible stuff going on right now. Um, Best Buy has had some of their deals. There's just all kinds of good things happening in the way of sales. And number seven, oh dear, I had tea on here twice. So let's count my pineapple rum, although I have a couple more things to show you. So I really have more than 10, but we could count the pineapple rum as one of those things, sort of. So anyway, number seven, is recipes. We, we always do a lot of cooking, but we found a few recipes lately that I really like and can share with you. Um, this one is so easy. We just made it for the second time. It takes 10 minutes to prep and, and then it's a slow cooker, so it takes like six or seven hours to cook it. It's so easy and it's great for Thanksgiving. It's a chicken and stuffing. What you do is you put the chicken breast in the bottom of the slow cooker and I'll link the actual recipe below for anybody who really wants to do it. It's got like chicken stock and cream of chicken and then just one of those pre-made stuffing packages, you know? And you just sort of mix it up and put it in there and then turn the thing on for six or seven hours and it's done and it's creamy and delicious and Thanksgiving-y. That would be great, especially for those of you who are not gonna be spending Thanksgiving with family. Like if you're by yourself and you don't wanna make a big meal, that's a Thanksgiving-y thing that you could do. It's cheap, it's easy. Or if you're just doing a much smaller Thanksgiving this year and you don't wanna deal with the turkey and all that, it's an idea for you. Another recipe we did is some stuffed peppers, some vegetarian stuffed peppers. So we did red peppers and we stuffed them with red quinoa and a bunch of vegetables mixed in with it. Fabulous, I'll link that below too. It tastes, the red quinoa is so rich, it tastes like ground beef. So if you're looking to lose some quarantine weight like I am and you wanna cut out red meat, I recently also found out I have high blood pressure. Not good, so this is another reason I need to stop with the wafer cookies and you know I don't eat much meat anyway but this is a great healthy recipe it's filling it's delicious they they both are so I will link both of those recipes below for you and then I'm skipping to nine because eight was the tease and we're replacing that with the pineapple rum speaking of okay number nine I don't burn candles that often but when I do there I am again I don't blah 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 very often but when I do I recently finished a candle so I got into my little box where I keep my candles and I found this which I had forgotten I had it's a little travel tin candle gardenia scent from Henry Bendel they closed a year or two ago, I had two of these. Gardenia is probably my favorite scent in the whole world. It is divine, it's so good. Remember I showed you in the uh, birthday haul that I did recently, I had a gardenia perfume from Chanel and it's just essence of gardenia. They pretty much smell the same. Oh, it's so good. This candle, I don't like spending money on candles because you just burn them, right? And I think the idea of spending a lot of money on candles, I think, Here's, here's my thing. I buy candles from like TJ Maxx. I don't spend more than $10 on one. This little thing was $15. That's the retail, but I'm sure I got it on sale and spent a little less than that. I might have spent 12 on it. But I tell you what, I burned this for a few hours and then I left it on my desk with the lid open and I close all my doors when I, well, when I'm in here and when I'm not in here. Every time I would come in my room, and this was a good week or two ago, still, when I come in here, it smells like gardenia. This scent, whatever oils they have in here, it's so powerful and potent that it's like, okay, if if this is why candles are expensive, if, if like, if expensive candles perform like this one is, maybe I should be spending a little more on candles because that's a really nice benefit. It's, you don't just get the scent when you're burning it. It's like always 
and that makes it more worth the money to me. So, and I'll talk about this more in Vlogmas, but I recently ordered a few quite expensive candles. I got a Jo Malone and I got a sampler of some Diptyque because I keep hearing people on the YouTube influence me about those candles and say how great they are. So I ordered a couple and we're gonna test them out over Vlogmas and see how it goes. Almost $150 on a couple of candles. Insane. But I do it for you, YouTube. And then, speaking of, this video is really a lot longer than I was planning for it to be. This reminded me Henry Bendel, so, you know, they're out of business now, but I went on. I know you can get some Henry Bendel on the Real Real. I'll link it below. And I was also looking on eBay in a few places. Boy, Henry Bendel has really held its value. The stuff that's on eBay and on Tradesy, I mean, not everything, but it's pricey. And I have quite a few things from Henry Bendel, most or all of which I got on sale. I saw some of it on there and it's going for like above retail. It's like, when did Henry Bendel become Louis Vuitton and Chanel and stuff? I don't know, but that was really interesting to see. And I've told you guys about my sales associate or client advisor at Louis Vuitton. Her name is Becca. She's at the Houston Galleria main store. We have three Louis Vuittons at the Galleria. Yes, we have three Louis Vuittons at my mall. Anyway, <laughs> Becca, before she worked at Louis Vuitton, she was my sales associate at Henry Bendel before that store shut down. So, and of course, if you need anything at Louis Vuitton, please do reach out to Becca. I've had a lot of people do that and they write back to me and say how great she is. So, and I agree, I've known that about her. I will link her information below so you can get in touch with her if you're looking for anything for yourself or any holiday gifts. At present, they don't have the holiday bags, like the shopping bag packaging yet, but she said she would let me know when that comes in because I'm planning to get something to get that bag. Kind of dumb, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Is it as dumb as spending $150 on candles? You be the judge. All right, number 10. This is a big one, big one, guys. Number 10, the 10 things that make me happy right now is, I haven't told you guys this yet, since I have been back at work, I have started doing something again that I used to do and stopped doing this year and now I'm doing it again, which is carrying handbags that are not clear wipeable PVC bags. I'm carrying my real handbags again. Can you believe it? This is my tote from Ted Baker that I love. I've carried this about three times now. I love it so much. And there were a couple things inside here that I thought I would include in number 10 that also are making me happy right now. One of them is these Tory Burch sunglasses that Yota got me for my birthday. Well, she didn't really, she got them for herself. And then I told her I love them, but I'm not insane enough to spend $200 on sunglasses. I'll spend that much on candles, but not on sunglasses. Oh, I have to take these off. I keep forgetting that. Here they are. And someone asked, and I think I answered, but in case anyone else is interested, these are the Riva Square sunglasses from Tory Burch. They are sold out, however, but perhaps you could find them somewhere else. I look fabulous in them, do I not? Just say yes, because I do. I love them. I'm gonna wear them for the rest of the video. I also have, oh, this makes me so happy. This was a also a birthday gift from Winnie B L V. This little pouch that I've been using for my electronic cables and things for work. Dachshunds and cacti. Still don't know why they're in the cacti, but they are and they make me happy. This makes me happy. Okay, when I film, I do all this YouTube stuff, I have external hard drives and I've been using the ones like this to keep all my videos on and to edit with. And I just broke, you know what does not make me happy? When I'm in the middle of filming and I look down at my screen over here and it's not filming anymore for whatever reason. This time I talked too much. It doesn't let me film for more than 30 minutes and I talked for more than 30 minutes. So anything after that I lost. Luckily, I didn't lose much this time. You might have noticed I'm a YouTuber and I make a lot of videos. And in order to do that, I use external hard drives to store all the video files and all the edited videos and the photos and everything I need. These drives here, I just broke the third one in about a year or two and it's really frustrating because you lose all your data and then you have to go buy a new one. Well, I recently found out that there are two different kinds of external drives. I had no idea. There are these that have the spinny thing inside that apparently breaks pretty easily. And then there are these little guys that are a lot smaller 
And this, I think it's called an SSD, standard state drive, something like that. These don't have moving parts. These are more like a USB that you plug into the computer where nothing spins, right? Positives, it's supposed to be more durable. Negatives, it's quite a bit more expensive. So these I can get on sale for 70 or $80, two or four terabytes. This one is only one terabyte and it was $150. So big price difference there. But if I only have to buy one of these and not have to keep replacing these, then hopefully that works out. And I bought this little case to keep it protected as well. And it has a little cable in here to plug it into the computer. So I've been using this for a week or two now. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping Black Friday I can find some good deals on these. I need to start looking for them now since I just mentioned there were already Black Friday specials available. That makes me very happy, at least until I figure out how to break that. And then the other thing in my bag here that has made me very happy lately are my Bose headphones that I just got for my birthday. I showed these in my birthday haul. I invested in a new pair and I love them. They are fantastic, they're comfortable. I love that they come in that hard case that's more protective. They're wireless, so they're like Bluetooth. The noise cancellation on these is incredible. Like I said in that birthday video, they're wonderful. They were worth every penny and I'm so glad that I finally broke down and got myself a new updated pair of the Bose headphones after I'd had my other broken ones for 10 years plus. I think that's everything I was gonna show you. So thank you so much to Cat L for coming up with this tag, to Styled by Gwenny for tagging me. I'm gonna tag a few people too, but they're probably the same people that Gwenny tagged. So I'm just gonna list them in the description box below there. And if you want to do this video, please consider yourself tagged by me. And I forgot to say this at the beginning, I will also link Cat L and Styled by Gwenny's videos below so you can watch those. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Remember to subscribe so you can get the community notifications that pop up on your homepage and you can see preview of Vlogmas 2020. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. Hope to see you back here next time and, and in honor of Styled by Gwenny, I hope you are having a fan dabby dozy day. Bye.